Hey, how's it going? It's Jasper from Nomocos here. In today's software tutorial, we're talking about how to pre-fill a form submission with hidden fields. So this is what we're trying to achieve in this video. We have a list of cafe here. And if the user click on one of the cafes here, they will go into the list details page where we have a list details block presenting all the information about this cafe. And we have a form down here where the user can report this cafe for whatever reason. So if they submit, they fill in the subject line, give it a reason. Once they click report, they actually can submit a report into our edit table database. And in our database, we have a report table. And then here you can see, this is the submission I just made here. And what's interesting is that we are actually automatically linking the user and then also the cafe that the user just submitted from we are not even asking for the user's name and also which cafe they're submitting from. We are automatically linking them with um, some hidden fields, which I'm going to go through with you right now. So in the database, we're going to make a table called reports. And then for the first field, we're going to name it to subject for the subject line. For the second field, we're going to make it a long text field. We're going to call it reason. For the third one, we actually going to make it a linked record into user. For the third, fourth one, we're going to make it a link field to cafe, to our cafe block. And for the last one, I just created a created date one. This one is optional. I just love to always be able to see when a record is created. And as you can see, these two will be linked to user and cafe respectively. So the way we're going to do it is that we want the user to submit the subject line, the reason, um, and these two, we're actually asking for the user to fill out. And these two, we are going to, um, by using hidden fields, we're going to automatically fill them in. So on the soft, softer side, underneath this list details page, uh, the list details block in the list details page, we're going to add a form block. For the first two, as we just mentioned, the first one is a single line text type map to subject. And the second one is a long text type map to reason. That's associated with the first two. For the next one, next two, we're gonna automatically fill out. We are going to use hidden fields. The first hidden field, we are going to use this formula, which I will paste down here. There are a bunch of other more, a uh, bunch of more other hidden fields um, formula that you can use. So you can actually go into the documentation side to read all of that. Um, but I will leave the two we're go going to use in this video down below. The first one is going to uh, automatically fill in the current logged in user's name, um, give it into, put it into here as the user submit the record. And as you put it in, uh, software is, uh, Airtable is smart enough to just link the users up automatically. That's the first hidden field we're going to use. And the second one, we're actually going to use a, another um, hidden field formula that we're going to use, which is URL parameter record ID. And this is going to be mapped to cafe. So these, as you submit the record ID, this is going to automatically link the cafe up. Um, the reason I'm just going to quickly explain how that works. So this value is pretty much software is reading the slug of this current page, which is the record ID here. So software is going to read these and if, uh, fetch this, uh, send it into your air table into here. So depending on the least item that you click on, for example, proof rock here, uh, this record ID is all unique to their respective, um, cafe in my case to their respective list items. So all of each one has a different record ID. So by sending the record ID in the URL to the Airtable, to this field, uh, Airtable is smart enough to just automatically link the cafe up. And this is how you just by asking the user to fill out, fill out the two, and then you can actually automatically link the user up and link the cafe up uh, without asking the user to fill this out. And after you have set up all the fields, the two hidden fields, and also all the fields that you want the users to submit, uh, make sure 
for the button, I named it report, you name it, um, whatever that suits your use case. Make sure you set the action to send to Airtable and send to the right base and the right table that you want this uh, submission to go into. And for after the submission, um, basically you can set up if you want to show a message or you want to refresh this page or go into another page, for example, you can go to a home page if you want. So for me, I actually set it to refresh the page, but um, you can set a, a message here, just say, um, thanks for the report, like so. And once you uh, configure this form, the way you, exactly the way you want it, you can just hit publish and then go into your application to try it out. And there you have it. This is how you can pre-fill form submissions with hidden fields on Softer. Hope this video helped. If it did, please like and share this video. Subscribe to my channel for more. Follow me on Twitter to engage with me. Until next time, ciao.